Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 9 in a series of 15 videos on the topic of work time problems. Work time problems, 9th video in a series of 15, and today is our lesson number 100. And 34. The problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that we have two people, A and B. A takes three hours to do a job, two, uh, B takes two hours to do the same job. The question simply is how long it will take them together working at their constant paces to finish the job uh, to, to, together, that is. I'll give you five seconds to be able to for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first and then we'll do it together. All right. Well, as you can tell, this is not something new. This is this is the ninth one. We have done we have done many of these questions before. It's very simple, very straightforward. We can do it out first, uh, like we're supposed to, or we can look at the answer choices that simply don't make any sense. If if this guy is taking three hours and if this guy is taking two hours, if both of them were to take three hours, if if B if B were to work as slow as A does, if both of them were to work three hours take three hours to finish the job, working together it should take them an hour and a half. What that tells us is that working together it cannot possibly take them an hour and a half or more. If you find an answer choice that is more than one and a half hour or more or equal to more equal to hour and a half, it's wrong. It cannot be 90 minutes or more. But oh, there is 90 minutes. That's nonsensical. It, it, it's, it's not going to take it's not going to take them that long. Hour and a half, hour and a half, 90 minutes is how long it's going to take. 90 minutes is how long it would have taken them had B also been working at the same pace as A. Now look at the exact opposite logic. If A were to work as fast as B does, B can finish the job in two hours. If A can also finish the job in two hours, together they can finish the job in one hour because in one hour A would do A would have done uh, half the job and B would have B would have done half the job. That that is, if they were to both work as fast as the fast guy. Even in that scenario, which is the best case scenario, even in that scenario, it will still take them an hour. Because of the fact that this guy is not working as fast as uh, 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 guy B, it tells us that it will take them more than one hour. If you find an answer choice that is less than one hour, that's just simple non nonsense. It can't, they cannot possibly finish it in, in 48 minutes. They cannot finish it in one hour. Answer would have to be either C or D. Either 72 minutes or four, 75 minutes. Let's finish the job. We're taking too long. This is three hours. This is two hours. We're looking for the smallest possible number that is a multiple of both three and two. The least, least common multiplier here is six. Six is our magic number. A, A can do, A can do, because it takes three hours, he can do two jobs. He can do two jobs in six hours. Similarly, B can do, because B takes only two hours, if you give him six hours, he can do three jobs. He can do three jobs in six hours. That means together, it tells us that together they can do five jobs in six hours. If they can do five jobs in six hours, that implies that they should be able to do one job in fifth, one job in fifty amount of time, six fifth of an hour. Six fifth of an hour is the same as one and one fifth. A fifth of an hour, because an hour has sixty minutes, a fifth of an hour is twelve minutes. So it's sixty minutes plus twelve minutes is seventy-two minutes. It's not seventy-five minutes. It's not seventy-five minutes because seventy-five is sixty plus fifteen, and that is one hour, one hour, one and a quarter hour. It's not one and a quarter hour, it's one and one fifth. It will take them one and one fifth of an hour, one and one fifth of an hour, or sixty plus twelve, seventy-two minutes. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. We are told that A takes three hours, A takes three hours to assemble 
500 parts. We are told that A takes 3 hours to assemble 500 parts. We are told that B takes 2 hours to assemble 500 parts. How long will they take working together to assemble two thousand five hundred parts? How long will it take them working together at their constant pace to assemble two thousand five hundred parts? Are you able to see right away? Are you able to see right away immediately that this problem is actually no different than the problem that we just finished? It is no different at all. What we have to do here, we could do it in a complicated way by setting up setting it up as uh, units, but don't don't think in terms of units. The smart thing to do here is to treat this 500 parts as a job. So 500 part is our job, is a job, one job. Treat 500 part as one job. And now the problem is same as before. What it tells us is that A takes three hours to do one job, B takes two hours to do the same job. Together how long will it take them to, to do, to do what? To do, to do, to assemble 2500 parts, if 500 parts is one job, to do 5 jobs. And we just saw it, we just saw it uh, just a few seconds ago, how long it takes them to do five, 5 jobs. If you like, we can do it again. This is 3 hours, this is 2 hours, so the magic number is 6 hours. A can do, A can do, because it takes 3 hours, A can do 2 jobs, 2 jobs in a will be able to do two jobs because it takes him three hours to do a job. A can do two jobs in six hours because B takes two hours to do a job. B takes two hours to do a job. This is our job. Since B takes two hours to do a job, if you give him give him six hours, then he can do three jobs. He can do three jobs in six hours together. They can do five jobs, five jobs in six hours. In they can do five jobs in six hours. And five jobs, five jobs is what we're describing as five jobs, is our 2,500 parts. Because each job constitutes 500 parts, and therefore. 500 times 5, which is 2,500 parts, makes 5 jobs. As you can see, it's the exact same problem as before. You have to, you have to learn to be versatile. You have to be able to see the problem uh, with a different perspective. Don't just do it the way it's presented to you. Find a quick way. Don't treat them par these things as parts. Describe it as a job and quickly ask yourself how long would it take do five jobs. Well, it's very simple. Five jobs, uh, they can do it in six hours because in six hours one guy is going to do two jobs, another guy is going to do three jobs. Give them six hours, the uh, five jobs is done. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.